Ooh, uh, hello YouTube. This is Baylor Mage again. I hope everybody's excited, as excited for this league as I am. Settlers of Kelgar is looking real good. And today we're bringing nine Atlas trees to you. Now, there's going to be a bunch of Atlas trees. I'm sure everyone else is going to have Atlas trees going on. But these are just nine of the ones that I came up with to start with. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. Take as least of your time as possible. But we are going to have to explain some of the things. The first one that I'd like to show you, by the way, these will all be linked in a Google Doc in the description below. So if you don't want to watch any of this bullshit, just click the doc and look through all the things yourself. But first one I want to show you is what I consider, at least for me, uh, to be just a the absolute number one progression atlas that like a non-racer would take so when i say non-racer i mean if you're one of the first people to tier 16s you sacrifice a lot to get there you're probably not going to follow exactly what i'm doing but for most players this is going to be one of the quickest ways to get there now i only have 73 points in it that is for a reason after that there are a lot of different options you can do well basically after these 73 points you can either add boxes, go for essences, or my personal favorite, just add all the connected nodes for even more maps or whatever. But we're going to go through the order here. Basically, the point of this tree is just to get us through the atlas as quick as possible in and out of maps and finish as much of our betrayal unveils as we can possibly get. Also, unveiling gear is like really good for getting day one gear and frankly syndicate is really good or betrayal is really good for uh xp anyway on day one so this is how i do it feel free to adjust as you like first my first four points literally my first four maps go straight into june we're gonna get 40 percent chance to june that's almost half my maps right off the bat i start there really good way of getting gear second I'm going to scream straight up the middle here. I'm going to go around this side to start gathering some Atlas uh, scouting reports. Those will be quite useful to us. I am going to grab this node for 6%. 6% chance for Kirak missions. That's a very good node, very efficient, too good not to take. I'm then going to go up the center and around the side here. If you're wondering why we take this, it's because it's the fastest travel node. It's basically an empty node that does nothing. We're never going to use Fortune Favors the Brave. We're not using that here. It's just a travel node. We're going to take these two, not that one. And straight up into the middle. And then we're going to use that straight path to be line all the way to Unwavering Vision. You will notice only my progression trees will ever hold Unwavering Vision. I think Unwavering Vision is a bad node for a planned Atlas tree later on. Like if you shouldn't be during the league using it, Scarabs are far too important. But... I think it's really good for an atlas progression tree so the moment we grab unwavering vision now we have a ton of extra points first thing i'm going to do is grab these extra plus map nodes that i'm in and then i'm going to grab these kirak nodes love them then i'm going to grab this shrine and then i'm going to come straight down here grab these plus then come straight down here grab these for extra scouting reports and then at that point i usually grab these two because i want even more of the unveils and whatnot this is something that's optional you could leave this section off if you wanted for me i want to finish my unveils and i want to finish them as early in the league as i possibly can so that i can not worry about it for the rest of the time uh, after that i will come over here and grab this plus maps then i will fill out these shrines then i will fill out these shrines go faster also helps you clear more that is only 73 points that is not very many that's where we're quote unquote done from here i will go and take every two percent connected node that i can find on the entire tree i think it's worth it it's great it helps us progress faster we're going to take all of them we're even going to take these ones over here we're going to take this weird travel node in the middle make it a box we're going to take them down here, down here, everywhere I can find them. If you want, at this point, you can also go for this Atlas scouting report. But this is enough to progress you into red maps, and it is enough to progress you into tier 16s, just not quite at lightning speed. So 
if you don't need to go quite at lightning speed you could also start adding other mechanics in here that you want for instance you know you want to you want to start farming some essences you could start taking some essence nodes you just want to kill more monsters you could start throwing some boxes in grabbing those you decide you want to start farming some harbingers uh, we're right next to that harbinger wheel we're right next to this harbinger wheel and we're only a few travel nodes away from this one and then that's all the harbinger nodes so the rest of this really is up to you my suggestion for the most speed is going to be just grab all the connected nodes because we're going to have two extra atlas trees anyway so as soon as i'm done with progression i'm going to swap onto a different tree and i won't have to respect this until i'm onto my fourth atlas tree because this is the first one then you get your second one that you do you get your third one that you do and then you have to like respect the progression tree at that point that's fine by me i'm on board with that so there it is there's our progression tree i think that's the tree i'll start with that's the tree the kind of tree most people will start with um this should get you everything you need so that's that one however a lot of people were asking about ritual especially because all the new or returning specters will be in ritual and with ritual mobs all dropping loot and dropping maps now ritual might be pretty good for progression so we built a ritual tree so this one's a little bit different i gave up on jun uh you can see it's built pretty close to the same way um you could do the same thing here with this center bit where you do all the scouting numbers and then just take that one but that's up to you depends on whether you want to spend the extra points or not it's probably worth it it's arguable this center bit is very arguable whether it's worth it or not anyway you'll notice this is the same we've got all the plus map nodes here plus map nodes here plus map nodes up the top here we want those but this one's gone to all of the ritual nodes you'll see we've taken these scouting reports instead of these ones because this is where we're parked and all our ritual nodes all the ritual nodes all the ritual nodes all the ritual nodes and still kept our shrines for speediness now this one's a little bit more untested because it's not just straight progression we are specced into all the ritual stuff but it's still somewhat focused on progression we've still got every map node we can possibly get we've still got all the kirak missions we've still got a bunch of scouting reports so it is somewhat focused on progression but with ritual dropping maps now and then also all of the corpses coming from ritual it's entirely possible that this here is a really good progression tree um the other thing we added in was red altars uh up to you whether you want to take this one or not it does give you the uh 100 increased effect of downside so that's sort of up to you just take that or don't take it uh, depends on your build but yeah that is rituals version of progression so that's pretty good Next, we've moved slightly away from progression onto what I would consider a day two atlas, but might for you be a day four or five atlas. I don't know. Whenever you're done with the first atlas and you're going to move on, things to farm. So, this one is rituals, essences, exiles, and red altars all at the same time, which is a lot to fit in, but it's done. So, a few things worth noting. Uh, whether or not we take this node with any essence tree is kind of a question mark it's somewhat worth it and then sometimes not so it really i think depends for me on whether or not you can kill the boss at the end with all the extra essences in it if you can kill the boss you should take it if you can't you should still take these nodes and potentially even these nodes for extra essences you, you would just leave the keystone off we have the same deal with our exiles we have exiles we've lots and lots of exiles we have the ruckus in here it's great if exiles spawn in the rituals they'll spawn over and over again it's fantastic but it's the same deal with this node down here 50 percent chance for an extra reward it's good 100 percent more life that's multiplicative with any other map mods that you put on or anything else it does make them quite a bit harder to kill this will just be up to whether or not you have the build that can handle them or not if you have them take it if you don't have them don't take it it's fine it's not that big of a deal the extra reward is just a reward pile so you know take it when you can otherwise unique scarabs are really good we like those so we took them 
otherwise we got essence ritual that's it that's the whole tree again if you level further you could take these ones as well i'm always a little bit questioning whether i need the deferred rituals to show up sooner or not because they're going to show up regardless but you know further passives put them in there etc all right moving on next one is Ooh, Maven, Jun, Harvest, and Abyss all fit on the same tree. Now, for my personal likes, I don't really like following Abyss, but Abyss depths are really good, especially early. The Poison Jewel is expensive. The belts are super expensive. And there are also tons and tons of experience. So really good, even when you're in like mid to late 90s. Really, really good XP from them. So that's fine. This has all the betrayal nodes we could need all the harvest nodes we could need and all the abyss nodes that we could need all at the same time so that's really good it also goes with destructive play and starts collecting you map bosses these won't be quite the quickest maps you've ever run because you will have to stop at a harvest every map stop at an abyss every map and do the destructive play things so a little bit slower on the map oh I, oh yeah and do the betrayal every map so a little bit slower on the map to map but still quite a lot of rewards in there it is worth noting anything that does destructive play now gets these nodes which together is 30 percent chance for bosses witnessed by maven to drop the maven chisels those could be quite expensive they're the only chance to drop maven chisels that i was able to find anywhere and uh i don't i don't know how rare they're gonna be um those could end up being really expensive all right next one expedition altars and scarabs so i've said altars because at this point it's either altars i just want to say early league red is usually really good we want all the gumball currency or etc but if you prefer blue or if we're more than like four or five days into a league blue might be better anyway you just drop the gateway and take the blue side instead right so it's just altars it could be either altar it doesn't matter but this one is basically just a big boom expedition farming that is the whole point of this farm expedition get lots of lots of logbooks and lots of uh currencies and whatnot uh over here we've got i've got rog and danning danning is the like global guy who sells all the currency rog does all the rog crafting it's fantastic you could if you don't if you don't like rog crafting swap rog to tujin that's fine get tujin currency instead doesn't matter that part's up to you otherwise shrines to get around the map faster we always love shrines early and uh otherwise that's it and it's just a straight farming expedition tree um also up to you whether you like to have shadow shaping anytime you see shadow shaping that's sort of up to you i kind of like moving around sometimes but then sometimes i would rather have singular focus this is another link up to you if you want to stick on one map forever you're going to take singular focus if you'd like to move around as much as possible take shadow shaping uh, that's a personal preference one so <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so that one's up to you all right that is expedition altars and scarabs the next one this one might be my second tree uh this is actually quite good this is where we mix uh expedition farming with uh maven destructive play so we're gonna get the, more of the chisels and uh this one mm, take it or don't take it again this is more of a personal preference i almost always take it i think technically you can get better rewards if you leave it off and you just take this like whole wheel and instead pick where you want the explosions to happen for me personally i'm pretty lazy i tend to just take the giant explosion and blow them all up but personal preference there uh but the point of this atlas is hit the expedition 
for me it'll be with the explosion on for you whatever get the expedition as quick as possible again pick your preferred pick your preferred uh dudes for expedition here and then uh boss maps boss maps maven chisels get destructive play going get lots of those fantastic right moving on ultimatums ultimatums and essences one tree with the red altars really nice we do know ultimatum got buffed this league uh ultimatum for those who didn't know never dropped loot before never dropped any loot before it was only the rewards you would get from like what you picked that's gone we still get those rewards it's great but now we actually get loot dropping from the mobs that might actually make it worth doing um i'm somewhat excited to try ultimatum so i don't know if it'll be my first or second tree but i'm probably going to try ultimatum at some point uh important notes on this tree there is not there's still pretty good map sustain which is great uh essence same deal whether you take this or not is up to you however some things that are important here specifically you'll notice i didn't take any of these that's because i have no idea what the goddamn hell's gonna happen to the market so we need to find out when it's on if there are unique inscriptions that are worth a ton of money we might want to take them if there are the currency ones are worth the most this is what i suspect will happen then we'll take those and uh if the divination card ones are worth the most we'll take that then you have another choice there's this node which i think would be really 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 nice if your build is giga chad this is three extra rounds of ultimatum which is already quite hard and you don't get to choose what the downside is <laughs> i don't know what builds can run this but it's not any builds i've ever played <laughs> So take it at your own risk. <laughs> that seems rough, uh, but it would be far more rewarding. Uh, what I've chosen to go for instead of that is uh, the bosses. We're gonna we're gonna do the bosses instead. So we've got ten percent chance for the boss, ten percent increased chance for the boss, ten percent increase, ten percent increase, and then thirty percent increased chance for a boss, and the boss will drop a full stack of a random catalyst. So that's cool. I wouldn't mind fighting the trial master i've gone that way if you've got like a giga chad build and you can take that node just remember cannot cannot have bosses in the final round so there's no point in taking this wheel so you might as well drop that back do something else with those points but that is up to you all right next one bit of an old school one this one's been around for a while i don't know how many melee enjoyers are gonna do this but uh bow enjoyers uh legion still absolutely fantastic especially early league especially the first like one to two weeks even uh i know the emblems devalue themselves rather quickly the trick to making a lot of money out of this is you start hiding single stacks of splinters pretty goddamn early like within a three days at most usually and uh the rewards that come outside of the emblems still stack up quite a bit so anyone on the giga clear speed builds this is just straight legion farm there's only 100 points so there's plenty more you can do if it was me i'd put in shrines but that i love them so you know maybe i'm biased uh also whether or not you take singular focus again up to you i would i like singular focus do it in a bigger open area map but again those are always personal preferences shaping or singular focus whenever you're near there always up to you singular focus is better for this style of map though so yeah those are all the good trees the last tree i started doing as a meme and then my chat absolutely loved it so i'm sharing it anyway I don't think you should do it the last atlas tree i have nicknamed the three maps per hour strategy 
because I think they're going to be 20 minute maps, which is an atlas tree that has blight, ultimatum and ritual in every map. There's going to be a full blight, four ritual altars and a full ultimatum in every map. And as fun as that sounds, um, there are enough points for that. Uh, there's actually even eight extra points left over. You don't even need a full completed atlas to do it. And we even get to squeeze in some extra scarab drop nodes. But, uh, oh, and some map effect nodes up the top here. And there's even like eight points left over. So like you could get more map effect nodes or squeeze delirium into it or whatever. But... I'm going to be honest, these maps are way too long. And if you have a look at this tree and you like the idea of longer maps, I would like to implore you to pick one of those three mechanics and pull them out and maybe just put it into something that like doesn't take extra time, like maybe beyond, or maybe you're just going to, you know, take some plus map nodes and whatnot, get sustain up a little bit further. Three of the stain here for a while mechanics feels like overkill but chat loved it too much for me to not involve it here and share it with youtube so i hope you guys get a kick out of this last tree the same as me and uh if anyone does try the 20 minute maps please drop by and tell me how it works all right that is all i have i'm looking forward to it I will see everybody next time. Goodbye.